Pure Packs presented by Recognizing the Signs of Kidney Disease Today, we're going to discuss the first sign of kidney disease, and actually, this will surprise you. You know, the kidney is a filter, and it converts blood into urine. It's a fascinating piece of your body because it's not just a little passive filter, it does a lot. It recycles all your fluids. Let's say you drink, I don't know, eight glasses of water a day. Now, for those people in Europe, especially Dennis from Germany, eight glasses of water per day is roughly about two liters. So, if you drink eight cups or two liters of fluid a day, you're going to pee out that amount, right throughout the day. But think about this, the amount of fluid that travels through your kidney in a given day is 180 liters. That's 760 cups of fluid. So, there's a lot of recycling going on in the kidney. It's a magical recycler because it recycles protein, nutrients, hormones. It recycles like 99% of all the water that you drink. And so, we have this magical little filter that has all these sensors that coordinate the amount of fluid in your body that help you convert vitamin D into the active form of vitamin D, to help regulate your blood pressure, and the hydration of your body, and the elimination of toxins and drugs. If you really appreciate what that nephron, the filter of your kidney, does for you, you probably are going to think twice about eating junk food or consuming things that might harm the kidney because it's an amazing, amazing organ. An average person has between 1 million to 1.5 million of these little filters. They're called nephrons. And so, when you start developing kidney disease, the amount of nephrons starts to decrease to the point where you might end up with half of your nephrons. And also, as you age, you lose your nephrons. So, we have a decreased ability to do all this magic and filter out things. There is this one underlying, most common cause of kidney disease, as well as end-stage renal failure, and that relates to diabetes. It's called diabetic nephropathy. Nephro meaning kidney, apathy meaning disease. So, it's this high blood glucose situation that is the most common reason why the kidney gets destroyed. And the mechanism of how this filter gets destroyed is this. When you have high levels of sugar interacting with these protein enzymes and other protein structures, you start to get this reaction called glycation. And that's the morphing when you have sugar and proteins. It starts to damage these proteins to the point where they become unavailable. And the medical term for this is called advanced glycation end products. So, when you have a lot of those, you have a combination of nephrons, or these little filters that don't work anymore or they're all gunked up with protein that is stuck in there, and they can't filter. And so, the key thing that they diagnose kidney disease with is the amount of protein in your urine. Because if we get less recycling of the protein, it ends up in your urine, not actually pulled into the body. So, protein in the urine means there's kidney damage with that little filter. And also, because it's ending up in the urine, there's going to be less protein in your blood. And that main symptom is edema. Okay? And it could be all over your body. It's just filled with fluid. So, you'll be puffing in the face, fluid in your hands, in your legs, all over. And the interesting thing about kidney disease is when the disease starts, okay, it takes 10 years sometimes before you even notice the first symptom. Okay? And so now, the first sign of kidney disease, I'm going to tell you the first symptom that a person will experience with kidney disease. It is nocturia. Now, what is nocturia? That is a situation where you're urinating at night, okay? Usually, multiple times, and it's very difficult for you to hold your urine throughout the night. That is one of the first signs that means there's something going on with your kidney. And it makes a lot of sense because the majority of diabetics also have that same symptom. And it also makes sense because diabetes usually takes 10 years before you start noticing problems. So, kidney problems go hand in hand with diabetes. 
And one thing about diabetes is that it affects four tissues. One is the kidney, okay, which we're talking about now. Next one is the eye. Next one is the nervous system. Okay? And then the arteries. And so, with kidney problems, you're going to see protein in the urine, and you're going to see a decreased filtration rate. We no longer have the filtering mechanism going on, so we have a lot of backup with toxins. We have a loss of a lot of nutrients, including amino acids. Then we get a lot of edema. But because there's a huge delay of 10 years, it's difficult to identify the cause and effect relationship. But I wanted to mention the first symptom that you'll notice is nocturia, getting up at night. Now, you might say, well, there's no way that I'm a diabetic. I don't have my blood pressure checked. Well, you should actually get a test called Home IR, which measures the insulin resistance, which happens way before diabetes. But the point is there is a connection between the carbohydrates that you eat and nocturia, getting up in the middle of the night and urinating. Now, to have the right plan in place to know what to eat and how to do intermittent fasting, I have my very simple playlist up here. You should check this out right here.